this month we're taking another look at the rhythm playing element of RGT's Level 3 Performance Award. In particular, this time, we're looking at some of the chords you need to know at Level 3 and how to play in 6-8 time, which you can hear playing now. Last month we explained that, at Level 3, you must be familiar with bar chords. The idea is that your first finger bars across the strings so that you can transfer basic open shapes such as E or A up the neck as bar chords. The bar chords in this month's chart use a mixture of E and A shapes. The chords are A, that's based on an open E shape moved up 5 frets to become A. Next is F sharp minor. This is an E minor shape moved up 2 frets. D. This one is based on an A shape. E. That's an A shape again. C sharp minor. This is an A minor shape moved up four frets. And B minor, which is also based on the open A minor shape. 6-8 time means that the music you play can be divided up into groupings of 6 eighth notes. So take for example an A chord and strum it to a count of 6 so that you stay in time. 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, a constant stream of strumming like that is quite boring and not very musical. So, the most common way of giving a bit of groove to 6-8 time is to emphasise or accent the first and fourth beats. 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And, because these accents fall halfway through the bar, you can stop counting all six beats and just count the accented beats to keep time. Four, five, six, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So far, we've only used downstrokes, but you can include upstrokes too. Don't change your strumming pattern. Just make contact with the strings on the upstroke and you'll find some interesting rhythms. Four, five, six, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. We recommend taking a steady approach to your rhythm playing without too many strumming variations. You'll need to follow a chart like this one, which shows the chord progression and includes repeat bar lines in bars 1 and 2, P markings to tell you to play softly, F markings to tell you to play loudly, and crescendo and diminuendo markings to tell you to gradually change your playing level. Finally, don't worry if it seems like a lot to learn, you can take as long as you need to prepare before you sit your assessment. Here's our playthrough of the chord progression. Thank you. 